Okay, everyone, it's the beginning of June 2021. Mainnet 3 for Theta is launching at the end of the month. What are my price predictions for the end of June? We're gonna talk about it today. Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy, and if you wanna follow along my journey as I build wealth for my family, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Remember, none of this is intended to be financial advice. I am merely giving my opinion and speculation. You should do your own due diligence before investing in anything and never invest money that you're not willing to lose. With that said, let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so we know that Theta Mainnet 3.0. Probably when you're watching this, it's June 4th. I'm recording this on June 3rd. We know that there are 27 days left until Mainnet 3 launches, which is going to introduce T-Fuel staking, which is a big deal. So the question becomes, what's going to happen to the price as we lead up uh, into the end of June when this launches? We know that uh, we've been basically been in a dip here for the last few weeks. Bitcoin dropped significantly, and so of course, every other crypto dropped as well. Uh, last week, you know, this is old news, but I want to touch on it because it will affect the price of Theta going into Mainnet 3. That uh, it was announced that CAA, which is Creative Artist Agency, which is a huge talent agency in Los Angeles, represents a ton of big players, uh, launched its own validator node. Here it says the addition of Creative Artist Agency as a validator brings the video network closer to full decentralization, said Theta Labs CEO Mitch Liu. So we know that Theta Labs is still running some validator nodes uh, and they eventually want to separate themselves from that so that Theta will ultimately be completely decentralized. Obviously the validator nodes are what processes the transactions immediately and then all of the guardian nodes ensure that the validators are actually doing what they're supposed to. And Theta Labs wants to be out of that process and have uh, validator nodes be completely decentralized. So here's the big thing with CAA, is they have some huge names when it comes to Hollywood. J.J. Abrams, and not just Hollywood, sports and uh, music industry. Ryan Gosling is one of their talents, I guess, who they, they represent. A lot of big names. Tom Hanks is in here. Tom Cruise is in here, um, Brad Pitt is in here. I mean, these are huge Hollywood names. And so when we think about what I mentioned before about Tom Brady launching his autograph company and my speculation that it's going to be on the Theta Network, CAA getting involved, we know that NFTs are going to be huge and CAA represents a huge amount of different people. Arnold Schwarzenegger is on here. So what happens when uh, Will Smith is on here? What happens when CAA says, all right guys, we are gonna start launching NFTs for you and we're gonna do it on the Theta Network. All these actors and actresses and music industry, Lil Wayne, Green Day, Carrie Underwood, uh, Eli, Peyton Manning, when all of these people start releasing NFTs on the Theta Network, right now there is very little press that's happening for Theta. You're sort of in the know, the fact that you know anything about Theta. It has not even hit mainstream, but I predict that Theta will be a household name just like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Everybody knows what Bitcoin is. Most everybody knows what Ethereum is. Theta will be the same way. Everybody will know what Theta is at least from a uh, NFT standpoint and the ability to buy Theta Drop. So let's look at the price here of Theta. As of this morning, we are at 896 and you can see just in the last couple days, we've gone from 631 on May 28th up to almost $9 in what is that? One, two, three, four, five, about five or six days. That's a pretty big deal. Obviously, we know that we hit um, $14, $15 back in April. And then with everything else in Bitcoin, we had this crash that brought it back down. Uh, but you can see here that we are sort of on the rise again. And the other thing to note was a few days ago, everything else was crashing, but Theta and T-Fuel were on our way up. So if we go back and look at the chart from May of 2020, which uh, very much like Mainnet 3 launching, Mainnet 2 for Theta launched at the end of May, May 27th. And you can see here, beginning of May, Theta was at 14 cents. And then leading up to Mainnet 2 launch, 
it went up to 41 cents. Pulled back a little bit between a few days before and mainnet launch, but it went from 14 cents essentially on May 4th all the way up here to 32 cents, a little more than 2, 2x. If we want to count this high peak, it was about 3x increase in price. And then it pulled back and stayed here about uh, two times the price. And so conservatively, the question becomes, what is going to happen to Theta with Mainnet 3? Obviously we had CAA announce their validator node. We know that Mainnet 3 is going to have T-Fuel staking. We know that Mainnet 3 is going to have NFTs on a larger basis. I still speculate we're gonna have some huge announcements happen uh, with Theta going into Mainnet 3 or shortly thereafter. Uh, possibly a Coinbase announcement shortly after Mainnet 3. And so what I'm predicting when looking at the price of Theta is we are at, let's, let's call it this low or the average of about eight, nine dollars. I think that we'll have at least a two or three X increase in price in the next few weeks. $26 uh, Theta price. And not only that, but because T-Fuel staking is gonna be huge with Mainnet 3, I'm predicting that T-Fuel is going to probably increase the same amount. So we're talking about somewhere around $1 for T-Fuel. All right, so I'm just sitting here editing this and I realized that I did my math wrong. If we're talking about a two or three X increase in T-Fuel, then that should put T Fuel somewhere in the dollar twenty to dollar eighty range, and I think that that is doable. T Fuel staking is going to be huge in the next one. The rest of this video, I keep mentioning a dollar, but I think it's even higher than that. Uh, maybe a dollar forty to a dollar eighty, one to two dollar range somewhere in there. So that's big. All right, let's get back to it. Let's see what T-Fuel is this morning. So here you can see T-Fuel has gone up to 39 cents. And just in the last week or so, let's pull, pull this chart back. So April 23rd, T-Fuel was at 24, 23 cents, 24 cents. And just in this short period of time, T-Fuel is now up to 39 cents. Now it may not get to a dollar, but I think 80 cents is uh, definitely doable uh, with T-Fuel. Again, this is all mere speculation. I'm just looking at what Theta did back with Mainnet 2 launch and the 3X gain that it had, and then drop back down. It's the wrong graph, this one. And then obviously what I think it's going to be going into Mainnet 3. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you do. Share it with a friend that might want to see it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And listen, I've got a video over here. There's a lot of scam comments down in this post and many other crypto channel posts. Don't get fooled by them. I've got a video right over here that talks about Theta scams and how not to get caught. So go check out that video. It's going to be starting right over here. I'll see you over there.